Hey, welcome back, everybody. Well, today we're talking about birthdays, and you know what? My favorite thing when it comes to my birthday is getting homemade cards. And Trisha Morris from Club Scrap is going to actually show us how to make some awesome homemade cards. I know a lot of people are into this whole scrapping thing. Makes me nervous. I don't know, but it's easy. Never fear. Really? Never fear. Okay. You know, you can handle anything in the kitchen with a recipe, right? Yes, yes. That's how it is here in the craft room. I've got recipes for the craft room. Excellent. Bring it on, because I have to tell you, First of all, picking out a card at the card store, you can it's like hours and you can never find the right one and they yeah. also cost a fortune. I won't they even do. tell you how much <laughs> I spent on cards the other day at the, at the grocery store. You bought cards uh, well, at the you know, grocery store? Not anymore. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going yeah. yeah. We're going to have to fix you up. All here, right, okay? sounds good. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. So, um, what these card recipes do from Club Scrap are tell you what you need to make the card. In this case, this particular recipe calls for two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Okay. So, I've got that. And then you have to trim them a certain way, and then after the card has been um, studied, you can see that you'll yield uh, some five by seven cards and two three and a half by five cards. It tells you what kind of envelopes you need how funny and so what they look like, like when they're done. Instead of yeah, servings, exactly. you know, eight portions, you'll get how many cards? I <laughs> That's love. Right. Okay, I think I it's can. I can do this. And so the cards aren't related to any specific occasion at all. Okay. They're just for anything. They're just templates. Okay. okay. Now, how do you get from the two pieces of paper to the four cards? Well, you turn the card over, and there are your preparation instructions or your cutting instructions in this Excellent. case. Excellent. So instead of chopping in the kitchen, you're chopping in the craft room. Okay. Now this is one. If you're going to start seriously getting into it, I know these are trimmer. really great. Yeah. Okay. They're not that, that expensive, and they do a great job. Okay. All right. So I'm taking my two pieces of paper. Cutting them at the same time because they both actually get cut the same way. So okay. the first cut I make is going to be at seven inches. Now all the instructions are worded so that you can easily follow along, and it's the best way to cut the paper. Okay. So the larger portion of the paper stays on the base of the trimmer, while the smaller portion falls off the end. Okay. Okay. It's a common mistake a lot of people make is doing it the other way around. Now I'm going to cut this piece at ten inches. Now that's what the recipe calls for. All right, so this is going to give me two cards okay. right here. Then this is going to give me an embellishment after I trim it, according to the directions, at five inches. All right, I've got two more cuts to make. Looks so easy so this far. In here. And it tells you to trim horizontally or vertically, so okay. I'll trim this horizontally at ten and seven. And then I'm done with the cutting. Dollars to it. I love the fact that you didn't have to do the scissor thing because oh, oh gosh. boy, oh that's why I gave up, you know, <laughs> crafting. I could I never hardly ever even yeah. use a scissor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, for other things anyway. Now, if you could just help me out here, sure. These need to be folded into cards. Okay. Okay. So if you just want to take those and just and fold they're gonna go right in half. Yeah, just fold them in half. Okay. You trust me? With I do. Okay. I trust you. Even though you buy your cards at the store. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I spent so much money. I, I may not be doing it. Now, does it matter if pattern or? No, nope, you know? pattern doesn't matter, just okay. any old way. Okay. And then on the instructions, it, it tells you the dotted lines are the fold lines, and the solid lines on the diagrams mean to cut. Okay. So these are where we'll be folding. I need to work on my folding. Now, what you can okay. do is use one of these little, it's called a bone folder or a stationer's tool. Okay. And if you want to crease your, your oh, folds great. really nice, then you can just do that. Okay, it gives like them a that. nice, you can go ahead and do that one. Sure. Okay, so now, because we've used two pieces of paper that are uh, contrasting in color, mm -hmm. we've got our four cards here. Now what we can do is like, it's like a puzzle, kind of. These two pieces interchange. Now, if you think this is a little too much going on here, Club scrap paper has two sides. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, so you can turn it any way you wish. Okay. Now remember, cards can also be horizontal or vertical. Sure, so I'll just sure. swap that one. Sure. Okay, and then we've got these other pieces that can be used. Maybe one here with maybe another contrasting piece there. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. And there you go. And so you've got a little bit of creative freedom that you like, could. Oh, you know, absolutely. You know, that's great. Absolutely. Yeah. Like you never really follow a recipe exactly. No, you don't. Sure. You just go ahead and add I your own thing. I sure don't. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. oh, I don't either. I always add cheese. <laughs> yeah. I add yeah. cheese to everything. I'm with you. Not. These are great. They so are. I mean, well, four no, cars. They don't really minutes. say anything yet, though. Right. But now so. you've got all these different things that you, you know, exactly. sayings. Exactly. Coordinating embellishments. We got stickers. You can add die cuts. You can add little, you know, found items. So you don't have to write write it out in marker. Oh. Well, you could. You could. You know, and that's where the kids come in. They right. might want to do that, right. you know, right. but right. you uh, can do so many things, generate items on the computer, but we have all these pre-printed coordinating embellishments. You can add all kinds of fun things to the cards. Ribbons, for example, are really um, hot right now, and, you know, sometimes I don't even have the patience to thread a ribbon, right. so get out the old household stapler. And here I've got cute little coordinating ribbon for this die cut. That's great. Staple it. And then, of course, adhesive. I see a lot of people spending a lot of time working with their adhesive. Don't have to really work that hard. Just 
get the two-way tape runner. I want one of those. It, you know, I, I'll just glue this as long as I, I'm at it. I might as well make your birthday card right here. It's going to take <laughs> me two seconds. All right. Now, if you like to have cards prepared in advance, this is a great way to do it. You know, you you make a whole bunch on one day, you yeah, know, on a Sunday, and then they're or ready to go. Yeah. So I always remember birthdays, even though I'm really busy. I remember birthdays because I have all these cards in a desk drawer with the matching envelopes. Are you one of those people? I, I well, still get a card from a girl I knew in high school every year. It'll be I in the try. mailbox today. It's, she amazes me. But uh, this is great that's stuff. How, that's how it can work. And it's all it's called the kit. What is it called? It's Club Scrap. This is the idea deck, and we also have monthly themed collections. That all coordinate just like this one. Make it easy and save a whole bunch of money on cards. And the most important thing, you did it. You made it. That's you right. Personalized and people it. really yeah. appreciate that, yeah. especially in, in the electronic age. Yeah, no kidding. It's nice to get a card in the mail once in a while. It really is. Mm -hmm. Chris, thank you so much. You're welcome, Amy.